Hi guys, Zion Aesthetic here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to be bringing you this video today because it means that I'm finally able to record again. I have not been able to record for almost the entire summer because the house I live in is basically just way too chaotic. During the summer when nobody is at school, I have a kid that lives with me and obviously likes to do kid things. He runs around, he plays video games, he plays with toys. So I was not able to make recordings during that time. Now that school has started back up and he's back in school, here I am right back at it. I don't foresee this being a problem next summer. I don't think I'll have to take another break from recording because I'm going to be more prepared and pre-record a bunch of videos that I can put out during the summer months. I'm so excited to be back informing you guys about cosmetics and showing you guys cosmetics and starting up this channel again. It has destroyed me to not be able to upload. I'm just very excited to be back here with you guys. Today I am going to be bringing you a haul video. I don't think I'm going to be going in any specific order today. I looked through all of my products earlier and tried to sort of organize them in a way that would make more sense for the camera, but there's just so many random products in here that I, I couldn't really. There's like some skincare stuff, some palettes, some concealer, just like everything. And so I didn't really have enough doubles of things that I could like make sections, so I'm just gonna kind of reach in next to me and pull them out and talk about them. The first thing I have to show you guys is the Lorac Pro 3 eyeshadow palette. This came out a little while ago, I think like two months ago now, I'm not sure exactly when. I picked it up almost immediately after it had come out. This is the first Lorac product that I have ever used, and so far I really like it. I had heard a lot of people talking about how much they liked the Lorac Pro palettes, and I went to check them out right after this one was released, not even realizing that this one had just been released, and I ended up picking up just this one, not only because it was new, but also because the colors were just gorgeous. It's got this whole array of sort of neutral pinks and bronzes and beiges and all of the like sort of light side of things. There's some darker colors in here, especially over on this side. We've got some browns over here with DK. I don't know what DK stands for. Hmm. Well, we have DK Mocha and DK Brown. I'm not sure if either of those mean anything specific. I'm sure they do. I just don't know what DK stands for. But then we also have this black, which is just a straight black and this truffle color, which I find very beautiful and I use often. I think my favorites out of the palette are probably this terracotta color and probably this almond pearl color. I've gotten quite a bit of use out of both of those and this terracotta color is just such a beautiful, beautiful transition. The quality of these shadows is very good. It's not the most incredible thing I've ever, ever used, but they blend out well and the pigmentation is very nice. I found that with these shadows specifically, certain brushes sort of make it patchy, and so I have to use the right brushes for the job. Since I did a palette, I'll just do my other palette. I only have two palettes for you guys today. This one is the Meet Matrimony palette by The Bomb. When I first saw this, I fell in love. It looks so gorgeous. One, The Bomb is just really clever with their packaging. I think it's very cute and I like the, the sort of style that they go for. I like that they encourage this sort of lust for men, but in a humorous way. And this is the only palette I have ever gotten from them, and quite possibly maybe the only palette that I get from them, because I have been very disappointed in this palette, which is heart-wrenching for me to say, because if you look at the colors in here, they are actually the most beautiful colors ever. Like, this deep maroon burgundy is perfect. And this light sort of smoky brown up here is gorgeous. And just, there's literally not one color in here that doesn't look phenomenal and gorgeous and beautiful. But once you put them on the eyes, it's a totally, totally different story. 
They do not blend out. They look patchy. They just... Oh, it's so disappointing. The packaging is so cute. I've heard great things about the bomb. I just have not had a good experience with this palette. And I've tried it multiple times to sort of get under the top layer and see if it helps. I've been trying to use this one quite a bit because it's my favorite color in the palette. And I just can't really get it to work very well. I did use this today on my eyes a little bit up top. I managed to work at it and make it look decent but if you can see it's still a little bit patchy up at the top where it's supposed to be all nice and beautiful and gradient and transitioned it just it just takes so much effort and so much layering and it's really really sad because the colors are so pretty the same day that i got this palette by the bomb i also got this blush by the bomb this is the cabana boy blush I love that they come in these little cardboard things, too. I'm not sure if people keep those usually, but I like them, so I've kept them. This is an entirely different story. I love this product. This product goes on me flawlessly every time. I have a little bit on today. I didn't go hard with the blush today, but if you can see, I've just got a little bit. It's so smooth. It's so buttery. The color is perfect for me. It's this deeper color, so it looks really nice on my olive skin. But it's and it's got a little bit of shimmer but just just a little bit of shimmer so it doesn't totally give you that shimmer shimmer blush look which i mean i've used some blushes like that and i really enjoy some blushes like that but most of the time i like blushes like this where they're almost matte but they've just got a little tinge of something the packaging on this blush follows right through with the bombs packaging it's super cute it's got this sort of romantic scene up front and inside it says so many men so little time it's just so pretty and the size of the pan is huge you definitely get your money's worth i don't remember exactly how much i spent on this but it it definitely was worth it i really really enjoy this blush while we're on the topic of blushes i'll show you the other blush i have you all know this one this is the nars orgasm blush i mean anyone who does makeup, likes makeup, shows makeup, talks about makeup, has obviously heard of this. This is probably the most famous slash popular blush ever for such a long time now. I, I wanted to get it for that reason. I wanted to get it because I wanted to know what it was. I wanted to know why everyone loved it so much, and I wanted to try it out for myself. I got the special edition. They had it on Sephora. I'm not sure if it was only on Sephora or if you could also get it elsewhere, but it's basically just a giant fucking pan of orgasm. It says orgasm on the front of the package, sort of overlaid over the NARS brand name that they always have on all their packaging. The size of this is just magnificent. I will never, ever, ever run out of this blush. I really enjoy it. It's not my ride or die like it, it seems to be for a lot of people. I'm not sure if that's just because of my skin tone or what. It probably is because of my skin tone. I have a lot of difficulties using light blushes, and this is definitely a lighter blush than I normally use. But it is still very, very gorgeous. What I usually do with this is I'll do a darker blush underneath, like this Golu from NARS. I think you can only get this color... If you're a VIB Rouge, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this color is only for VIB Rouge. But I like to put this one on because it's more of a matte color and it's darker. And then I'll just top it off with this to give it that sort of lighter sparkly pop on top. But without making it too, too sparkly or too light for my skin. Um, this one is a ride or die for me. This one I definitely enjoy using and I'm really glad that I have this giant freaking container of it so that I will never run out. I can always show people what orgasm looks like and yeah, never gonna run out of that. I've got one other NARS thing with me today. I think I received this in a Sephora favorites box. In case you didn't know, Sephora takes a bunch of products that they really enjoy and that have a similar theme and they'll put them all in a box together and sell them for a greatly reduced price. This one was a nude box. It was our favorite nudes or something. I don't remember. It happened at the beginning of summer, but I got this lipstick with it. 
It's the first NARS lipstick I've ever used. It is such a cute color. It is in Dolce Vita. It's this sort of pinky nude. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. I am wearing it a little bit today, um, just in the center, just in the center of my lip to sort of contour and bring the light to the middle. It's semi sheer, but it definitely has good pigment. I use it a lot for contouring my lips and just for touch-ups throughout the day. It is a refreshing product to use for me because I'm so used to liquid lipsticks where once they start to get old, once you've eaten something and they start to wear off, you have to make the decision to completely wipe them off and redo it or to try to add another layer on. And once you add another layer of liquid lipstick on, you can really start to feel that product on your lips. This is nice when I'm just sort of out for the day doing a no makeup makeup look or even contouring on my lips like I did today. All right, now I'm gonna get into some of the pricier products that I purchased this summer. This one being one of the most amazing things I have ever used. This is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. It comes in this little felt, I'm not sure if it's actually felt, but it feels like felt, container. And it looks like this. The packaging is exquisite as Kevin Aquan always is. The inside has the little pan of contour powder and the little mirror, which looks pretty dirty right now. Probably because I use this product every day. Like, I'm not kidding. This is all I contour with now. This one just looks so good every time I use it. It's slightly cool toned, and so it looks like a natural shadow as opposed to bronzer. I've discussed that in one of my previous videos. It's just unbeatable. I have never used a product I don't know if I've ever used a product that I was instantly as happy with as this product. I recommend this to anyone who wants to contour. It, it's so universally flattering. Most people of Caucasian skin can use this medium color. He did just release a light color as well for people who really need a lighter contour, but up until that point, this was the color that really light-skinned people would use, and it's it's worked for them, it works for me, it's worked for people slightly darker than me, it is gorgeous. I never have any patchiness with it, I never have any rough edges, it just blends in so smoothly, looks so natural, it's literally like a shadow in a pan. I cannot recommend this product enough. Speaking of shadow, I forgot to contour my forehead today, so if it looks a little big, that's why. I know, I know, I know. Alright, on to the next product. This is the only brush I have to show you guys today, and I am so excited about it. This is the Wayne Goss brush, number 15. It is a fan brush, and it is such a nice brush. Okay. This brush, they sell Wayne Goss on Beautylish, that's where I purchase his brushes. This is the only one I've purchased thus far, but I have a couple other on a wish list on Beautylish.com. This product, the number 15 brush from Wayne Goss, has been out of stock on Beautylish for months and months and months. I had it set up on my account so that when the product came back in stock, they would email me and let me know as soon as it happened. Um, they did, and I bought it right then. I literally bought it about 10 minutes after it came back in stock because I had been waiting for it for so long. Wayne Goss makes such exquisite high quality brushes. He uses all real hair. He has tons of different brushes from different animals. He uses different fur. It's all cruelty free though. It's just brushed off the animal and used from there. These brushes you do have to be a little bit sensitive with because of that but the quality of them and the payoff for a brush this nice is so incredible. I have been doing my highlight with this brush since I got it and it stepped up my highlight game so much. I used to use my Artiste brush to do highlight with and while it didn't look bad, I would always have just a strip of highlight on top of my cheeks and it didn't look as natural. It didn't look like it was sun hitting you. You didn't look like a natural golden goddess, you looked like you had a strip of highlight on your face. This has completely eradicated that problem. Because it's so light and gentle, it just deposits it in such a in such a way that it just really, really blends in and looks amazing. This brush came with a little 
plastic thing. I like to put my brush back in there to keep the shape and to keep it in good quality because it's definitely my nicest brush. Arguably the Artises are as nice, but this is just... This one's exciting. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this a couple months ago. It was really huge. Jeffree Star and Manny Mua did sort of a review on it. I had had a sample size of this product before that video, and I had really enjoyed it as well, but once I saw somebody else use it and really talk about the benefits of it and how it worked in relation to other similar products, I just knew I had to have the full size. This is a very expensive product. It is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment by Glam Glow. I'm sure you've seen this product on Instagram or maybe even on here on YouTube. It's such a unique product. This basically is a mask. It's a firming mask. This tightens your skin up and just makes you feel really firm and plump and your cheeks just, oh, it all looks so perfect when you're done with this. But this is the product that looks like metal. When you've seen people on Instagram or on Snapchat or even here on YouTube with a whole metal mask on, that is this product. When I first saw that metal mask, I was worried that it was just sort of a gimmick and that it was more of an aesthetically pleasing thing than an actual skin care thing. But as I've done more research into it and as I've tried it myself multiple times, I have fallen in love with this product. I know that once I run out, I'm gonna have to get a new one. It is like $70 though, and you really only get about 10 uses out of it because you cannot be sparing when you put this on. You have to have a thick, thick layer over your whole face for it to really do its job. But other than the price, there is nothing bad that I have to say about this product, and it's just really fun. I like to use it when I have a friend over who hasn't experienced it before just because it's, it's a really neat thing to use as well as being such a nice product. Now let's talk about what I'm wearing on my lips. This is the brand new Huda Beauty Liquid Mattes Liquid Lipstick. These just came out a couple of weeks ago. The packaging is to die for. Huda Beauty's packaging is always to die for. They are just, she's just such a cutie. I love her. But they finally released some liquid lipsticks. I'm ecstatic. I love Huda Beauty. I will always support Huda Beauty. This one is in the shade Spice Girl, which you can see on my lips. It's sort of, it's described as a classic 90s brown with a hint of mauve in it. I'll show you a swatch if I can get this out of this cute packaging. You have to be careful with this product though, because it is very pigmented. It is very one swipe and you're done. So if you're not very practiced with liquid lipsticks, it might take a second. You might have to sort of have a learning curve with it. But here is the swatch right next to the Dolce Vita by NARS. It's just this beautiful... Spice Girl is such a good name for it, I think, because it's this very classic 90s movie brown. And I love it. I, It's probably the deepest brown lipstick that I have. I have a couple that are slightly deeper colors than this, but they lean more towards the reds or the dark pinks. This one is just like a brown neutral, and it's definitely the darkest neutral I have, but it is so, so, so gorgeous. The only thing I have to say about this is the dry down time definitely is a little bit longer than a lot of liquid lipsticks. And so for a little while, you have to be careful of touching it and eating so that it doesn't start to bleed. This I just purchased the other day. It is the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. This is a primer that is made to sort of fill the appearance of pores on your face and to really give you a smoothed over appearance. I wanted to purchase this because I wanted to try something that was a slightly different consistency than the primer I was used to. I have been using this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer since I started to do my makeup, and I really, really love it. I love the silicone, and I love the way that this feels, and I love the way that makeup sits on top of it, but this doesn't seem to work very well for my nose. Um, I think it is the size of the pores that I have on my nose. Throughout the day, my nose just starts to get really, like, patchy and 
not flaky, but almost the appearance of flaky when I use this. And also, I have been trying to avoid using this under my eyes because I've noticed that when I use this primer under my eyes, it makes my makeup crease a little bit more. So I wanted to try this to sort of eradicate both of those issues. And it really, really does. I love this stuff. I knew I would. I've heard tons of people talk about exactly what it does for you. It's just beautiful. I use this on my nose and on my under eyes, sometimes on my whole face. Sometimes I go back and use the Smashbox on my whole face. But either way, this is a great primer. You can only purchase this size on Sephora.com. I don't think you can purchase it in store even. I think it's only on the website. It is... 1.5 fluid ounces or 44 milliliters. It is basically a jumbo size primer and I wanted something that was going to last me a long time so I decided to get the full hefty giant size. I might as well just shoot through some benefit products while we're talking about them. I have two of the brand new brow products that they put out. This one is the Bravo Conditioning Primer. I actually got this as a gift from Ulta from purchasing Benefit products. I've used this a couple times. It it seems to work nicely. I have trouble using it before I put makeup on because it doesn't dry down very fast and so I find that I'll put it on, I'll do some other things, and then I'll go to try to draw my brows in and it's still a little wet from the conditioner so it kind of moves the product around and so I have trouble using it for that reason but if I use it way before I do my brows or even at night afterwards I've, I've really liked the effect that it's given them and the way it makes them feel. This I have been loving. Up until I got this product, I had only been using Anastasia Beverly Hills for my brows. I really like her Dip Brow Pomade, but it's hard to get the front of the brows to look slightly faded compared to the back when you just use the pomade. It's a very thick, pigmented, full color look. And so I usually tend to use those on the backs of the brows now instead of the whole brow because otherwise it's just a straight box brow. I also had an Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil, but that one just, I've never really had much luck with that product. It, it sort of like sticks to itself in a weird way so that I'll like go back and forth with it and parts of it will be really dark and other parts will have like no product on at all. And so I knew I needed to try something different. So I went with this Goof Proof Brow Pencil. The color I am in is 6 because it's the darkest color that they have. I really like the color of this though because the color I was using in Anastasia was granite, which is their darkest color. And during the winter, that was fine. It looked great on me. But as the summer came around and my hair started to get a little lighter, it was way too dark and so it just looked black with brown hair and it didn't look like a correct match. This color is really nice because it's almost a black, but it's still got a brown undertone to it. There it is next to the Huda Beauty lipstick. It's really nice for a natural brow effect because if you see, it's not dark, dark, boom, intense pigment like the pomade is that I was talking about a minute ago. It really does sort of look like a natural brow when you apply it. At first, when I tried to use this, I used it very incorrectly. I wasn't sure how to use the tip. The tip is a very specific tip. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it in the camera, but it's pointed at the top and then it's a little more rounded at the bottom. And so the way I was using it originally was I was taking it sideways and drawing with it like that, like a pen. And I could just never figure out how to get the lines straight. I have since found out, thanks to a friend on Facebook, how to use it correctly. And that is to hold it with the pointy end up and literally fill your brows in. So I was holding it sideways when you're supposed to be holding it like this. And since then, it's just been a miracle worker. I love it. I cannot go a day without doing my brows with it now. The last benefit product I have for you today is this Creaseless Cream Shadow. This is in the shade RSVP. I actually didn't even know that this product existed until a friend bought it for me uh, about a week ago. She was placing an order on Sephora anyway and she saw it and she thought the color would be perfect for me. So she just bought it for me. Thank you. 
It's very kind of her. I do not have much experience with cream shadows, so I was really excited to give this one a try. And this color, she really was spot on, is so me. I have used it a little bit, as you can see there, but it's this very shimmery, dusty pink color. It's almost got a hint of, like, beigey coral or something. I can't really place the exact color, but it is so nice. If you can see where I've already used some product, the way that it shimmers in the light is so luxurious. It definitely has changed my opinion of cream shadows. The only cream shadows I had used up until this point were drugstore, and I had never had much luck with them, so I've been sticking to pretty much loose pigment or pressed eyeshadows since then, but I've been really liking this. I have only used it a couple times so far, but I'm excited to keep using it. I really love the packaging too. It's such a cute little round circular box thing. I like it. All right, now that you guys have seen 90% of the products I picked up over the summer in this long haul video. I think I'm going to wrap it up. I have class in about 20 minutes, so I need to like get scampering, get my stuff together. But I hope you enjoyed this. I, I'm i very glad to have made this video because it has been months and months and months that I've had some of these products and I've just really, really wanted to talk about them with you guys and tell you how I liked them or didn't like them. Most of the ones I have here I did like. Um, there are a couple that I wasn't so happy with. The biggest disappointment probably being the Meat Matrimony palette by The Bomb. Other than that though, there were a lot of fantastic products here. If you guys have any more questions about any of these or would like me to clarify anything, please leave that down in the comments. I would be happy to reply to any questions you may have. You can follow me on Facebook if you would like at Zion Aesthetic. I also am on Snapchat as just Zion, Z-Z-I-O-N, Z-Z-I-O-N. I'm not sure which way to do the finger in the camera. Z-Z-I-O-N, Z-Z-I-O-N. One of those. I'll cut out the wrong one, leave the right one. You know what it's all about. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.